I'm gonna start with a big two-part question okay. here. When you first signed on for The Watchers, what part of this production were you most looking forward to tackling? Yeah. But then I also wanna know something that caught you by surprise and wound up being more creatively fulfilling than you ever could have imagined. Oh, you're all, you always have the best questions. Um, what was I excited? Well, I was excited to collaborate with Ishana, you know? I really loved her right away, just as a person. She's like so full of brightness and lightness and, and um, but also is very intentional with her writing and her directing style. And what I really liked was getting to mix that mythical fairy tale folklore with also a groundedness at the same time and kind of blending that and then, you know, with the supernatural, surreal suspense built in. I felt like I hadn't seen that before. Mm -hmm. um, and so I was excited to to just work on it with her and to kind of, you know, sometimes you start a movie and, you know, you think it's going to be one thing and then it turns into something way more than you could have ever imagined. And I feel like that kind of happened with this. If you can read it and, and think of it in one way, and then as I was working on it, it kind of builds and builds and builds. Something that was I hadn't really thought about going into it that I was like, whoa, that's interesting, was the set of the coop and acting in front of a huge mirror. And, you know, you can read that on the page, but then when you're actually doing it, like having to separate any vanity from like what you're do you know what I mean like you're not yeah. supposed to be looking at yourself like while you're acting <laughs> like, or just we're not supposed to be looking at ourselves a lot period you know like it's it so it became freeing but at first I was like oh like you know, <laughs> I have to think of when I go to the gym. Sometimes yeah, exactly. It's helpful. Sometimes Why I look are there in the mirror and I want to fade away. No, I don't like that. Um, so yeah, it was that was that was that was unique. I'd never you know done that before. Acted in front of a mirror. Just because you brought up that this movie had elements that you've never seen before, yeah. you can't be in a Brian Bertino movie and not have me ask about ah. that as well. And I love the fact that like a one-two punch for you right yeah, now is going to yeah. be in the horror genre. Yeah. After having done this, what is something? in vicious in terms of how it uses uh, genre hard storytelling yeah. that, you know, is something you haven't seen before or maybe will push you as, or maybe did push you as an actor because I believe did, I'm done. You, yeah, you filmed that already. Yeah. Um, I was so pushed to the limits on that movie in the best, best <laughs> way. Like, Brian is so awesome. Like, he's so amazing. And I went to places that I hadn't, maybe ever gone before or in a very long time it was like one of those really creatively fulfilling experiences i'm just fresh off of it too so i'm like <laughs> really excited about that and the thing like with this one like when i think of vicious that to me is proper horror do you know mm. what i mean like oh. like it like fe that's how that feels <laughs> From him that's what i would expect and and it really is that and whereas with this one it's like a that suspense that kind of sneaks mm -hmm. up on you a little bit you know um so I think I have them in two different categories in my mind, but I think something that they share is working with a director who wrote the script that you're mm -hmm. making. And there is something really special about that just because they have such a knowledge of the world and the characters and where they want to go in the edit with it or where they were when they were writing it. Mm -hmm. And so there's just like a breadth of understanding about what you're making that they hold. Mm. Um, and I just find that very comforting. I love that. <laughs> and, then, and then my trust, on with a semi-silly question for yeah. you, it's one of my favorite qualities of any genre movie or any movie in general for that matter, is when it leaves you wondering how you might fare in that particular Ooh, situation. Yes. If yes. you ventured into the coop and got stuck there, I want to know what would your greatest strength be in there and yeah. what would your greatest weakness be? Um, my greatest strength, oh God, I don't, I, I thought about that a lot. I was like, I, I'd give up. I just would have to give up. What would save me would be, you know, when they watch that react, like the Lair of Love mm. DVD, that yes, would I save did. me. I like, oh, that always made me laugh in this story. I was like, as long, maybe if I had some good TV shows on DVD, maybe I could get through it. Um, but it would be hard. I mean, it's, you know, it's a confining space and confusing because you don't know, you, you know that you're being protected, but you're not sure what you're being protected from. And you also have a desire to escape. So I don't know what my strength would be. My weakness would be all of it, I think. <laughs> I feel like you're not alone in that. Come
Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Good to see you.